Okay, our next uh, new section to look at happens at three minutes in. What should we call it? Should we call it the, uh, the mid section? Um, it does this. So this next new section, before we actually try picking the part, let's just take a look at the chords. This is our first chord, part of a, part of a G major 7. Open G string, third fret of the, the uh, B, second fret of the E, uh, thumb over. Strictly speaking, John Mayer has his thumb there uh, on the E string for all of this part. But for our next chord, I'm going to do this, because I find it much easier. But if you, if you want to keep your thumb there, You've got to uh, do that, which is, so it's that. Which is doable. But you might find it easier. The chord is, is uh, first fret on the E, the third fret on the D, uh, third fret on the G, and there's your thumb on the third fret of the E. But I'm finding it a lot easier in, in real life to actually just bring my second finger across and hold it like that. So I've got my thumb there for the first chord. Um, then I'm going to do that. The next chord is uh, a D over F sharp. I'm going to go back to the thumb on the second fret. Second fret of the G, third fret of the B. Um, oh, this is all concentrating on the G, the B, and the E string. Down to our. This is a part of the E7 chord. Open E, first fret of the G, uh, third fret of the B, open E. Um, So, uh, here's the picking, slightly slow, it's, it's what we're used to, if you, if you establish that cycle on the very first intro, you know, practice that, it's the same picking, the same idea. The only difference is you've just got to, on each of these parts, you've just got to hit the top E, uh, the, the, the top string and the, and the bottom string at the same time, just to, for the opener. Then you're into the picking pattern. So each of those, each of those uh, chords I'm hitting, I'm picking with an upstroke my first finger, the top E, and downstroke with the thumb. Uh. And then you're doing the same picking uh, with, your, with your thumb and your first finger. Flick and the slap. The flick is mainly concentrating on that that B string. If you if you check out where the flick is going, I'll try and slow it down for you. So each time it's, I'm aiming for the, the B string with that first down flick of the, 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 the first finger and the thump with the, with the, uh, with the thumb. Then we're back into our chorus. It goes straight out of that, out of that into the chorus uh, motif, chorus chords.
So we have just one more uh, part to think about. It's the ascending, uh, the ascending G part, which does this. Um, it's towards the latter part of the song, three and a half minutes in, does this. So again, before we decide to try and pick it, let's actually concentrate on what the uh, the shapes are we're using. This is literally sort of an open, almost an open G. Root note um, on the third fret, on the E. Uh, open G, open B string. So the slap, is the is the root on the E and the downstroke on the G string? Really, you want to get that flick. Again, the first note of, of this this chord, the first actual you know notation of it is the B string and the E string together. So you're that's a unison part where you're holding the the G there on that E and you're playing the open B string. Then you've got the flick and the slap on the G. So after the slap, you've got the open B, uh, thumb on the G, low E, uh, open G and a slap on the B. So in context, very, very slowly, Next chord, same strings, uh, except you're going to an open A string, and it's part of a part of an A7 chord. Though you don't need to hold the whole A7 chord, just open A string, G and B on the second fret, and it's the same picking we did on the G chord, starting with a B string and A string at the same time. Slap is the open A string, and you hopefully your first finger making contact with the G string. It might make make sense to actually hold the whole whole A7 chord in case you hit the D string. If you, can, you might just brush the D string on the slap. So. So this, our next shape, we've got a second fret of the A, third fret of the B, and again, picking at the same time on the very first hit of the chord, and our open G string is on the alternate pick. So that's the first slap you hear. You can hear the two notes together. Then you've got a slap, which is uh, a slap on the A string and a flick on the G. And the last slap would be a flick on the B. So you're doing the flick on the G and the flick on the B. Exactly the same picking up to the next shape, which is the same shape, just moved up two frets. So in context, from the G chord.
So this, these last three chords are lovely. Just part of a D chord. Um, we've got the fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D string. Uh, you want to avoid the G string, so I'm muting it with my third finger. Um, and little fingers taking care of the seventh fret on the B string. And it's got a nice little, just a nice little break to it. I'm putting a finger to a, to a, to a string and just doing a little arpeggio like that. Thumb, first finger, third finger. Same thing on this. This is like a, an A minor 9 chord. Um, it's part of an A minor 9 chord. You've got the 5th fret of the, the E string there, 5th fret of the D, 5th fret of the G. A nice little rake there as well. Same fingers. And the next chord is E minor 9. Open E string, 4th uh, fret of the D, 3rd uh, fret of the B. So you get... That's all the component parts for the song. Um, you might just want to be aware of the little opening strums behind the intro. There's a, there's a sort of open strum, guitar and piano open chord doing this over the... You hear that? Nice. Um, this is simply a, a D6-9 chord. Um, open D string, uh, second fret of the G, open B, open E. Although, a couple of times, he does do, he does alternate that with a... Uh, a D major 9 chord. This chord happens a lot less, I think it only happens twice, but it does happen about the third time in, something like that. Um, this chord is um, second finger on the fifth fret of the A, we've got the first finger on the fourth fret of the D, little finger on the sixth fret of the G, and my third finger on the fifth fret of the B. So it alternates, I'd refer heavily to the original rec recording, you probably know it better than I, but that's a couple of those, I think. And then I think it's the third one it does it here, to the D major 9. Just a slight variation there. But that's the component parts of the song. It's, um, it's all about that, that slap and that flick. If you can get that cycle, you don't have to, you know, specifically change the picking to each each chord. It's the same picking throughout. You just have to get the 